Oh, one day you're here, the next day you're gone. Yeah, man. And then, you know, he busts his ass to, for certain people around the city. I mean, right. around the city. And nobody showing him no love. It's like nobody care. It was your first interview Why that he told nobody me. nobody care? Oh, go because ahead. Because the city should just be talking about that. We can't even do no candlelight like for him because he dealt with artists. So when you deal with artists and you deal with people that's in the entertainment in the city of Dallas, like, if you pass, they just gone about their life. But a lot of people was posting it. A lot of people were saying rest in that's peace it. and all of that's that. That's it. That's one day. Mm-hmm. After that day, you go. That man had a two-year-old son. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. A lot of time when, when you get on these interviews, man, it's a lot of people watching, man. There's so many things going on. I can't even start the interview without uh, R.I.P. and Big D the Mogul. Big D the Mogul. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Man. Yeah. So, you you know, yeah, Big D, piece, man. Big, big, big D. D the Mogul, man. Yeah, big, mogul Media. Big D my dog, man. I, uh, I, was, I was around him. Was you was like, around. You was his last the, interview that, that was night. the last interview, yeah. You was the last interview on that toxic, uh, what is it? Yeah. Toxic tequila. It made me go to church. It made me think. Cause, uh, and sometimes, I ain't going to lie to you, it's like people be knowing it. And that's the second person that I was around the day before he passed. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, that's a scary situation. And I asked him too, like, yeah, I, like, man, it's just a hard week. Uh, the dude streets, uh, I believe uh, he was thinking about streets a lot. Who is streets? Uh, that was his old artist that died three days before that. Oh, I ain't know. I ain't okay. know that he died. He died of drugs. Mm. And so he he mentioned it. He mentioned something else. I can't not remember, but he mentioned that the second thing. So I was like, who was that? He was like my old me and Sean Cotton, old artist. Mm. And I think he was battling with that the whole time. You know, uh, I think he I think he was battling with that the whole time because that was on his mind. Wow. Man, I just always, you know, I, it messed with me up pretty bad because we talked the day before that too. Mm-hmm. And we always used to talk about this podcast stuff. Yeah. And it just tripped me out, man. But at the end of the day, I, when it happened, I thought, I didn't even believe it, bro. I was like, I can't even know. Yeah, it did because yeah. there was no sickness. Yeah, you come but. calling me and everybody else come calling me. And I'm I like, think, did I call yeah. you first? Yeah, you blew my phone up. I called answer. you. I'm like, man, this is real, man. I'm yeah, I, ain't, to- I ain't think it was real. Like, man, Big D. Yeah, because when he told me, I was like, nah, you lying. I said, find out. How did you find out? Sean Cotton posted it. Yeah. And that made it serious GD, to me. Yeah, but and GD sent and it to you. And then GD sent it to me. GDP from down in New Orleans. He yeah. was like, "Is this because he stay on top of the, what's yeah. going on with our media? He, he watched you and everybody. He but, he like, is this real? And I was like, but if Sean posted, if Sean posted, Sean, it's like, real, bro. So I called you as soon as that. Boom, I called you, and I was like, man. A lot of people hadn't seen it yet because everybody was calling like nine. Nah, everybody heard. I called hadn't heard about it. Nobody was watching. They thought you was just crazy. Because yeah. Sean, Sean followed me on, on the uh, IG, so when he posts something, I seen it. I went straight to it. It was like, dang, because I hit the button. Like, dang. Yeah, that's crazy. He, uh, he talked to me on the whole way he got home, but he was talking about summer the whole time. That was like 12 summer or about, 1? Yeah, about, it was about. No, I late, we, you know, we get up eleven thirty. I left him by 11.30, talked to me by 1, 1.30. He talked for a long, long time. I ain't never talked to this man that long on the way home. He like he was just vending to somebody his, all his ideas. He and, did the same thing to me a lot, bro. Yeah. Like I could walk the whole, like I be yeah. walking, exercising. Like three miles. Yeah. Two I can miles. walk, he be walking more than me, mm-hmm. but I walk for a long time and me and him would talk the whole time. He telling me yeah. about different stuff. I'm telling you, that's just the way it was, man. But I can't believe this, bro. Like, like man, but believe it. Because one day you're here, the next day you're gone. Yeah, man. And then, you know, he busts his ass to. For certain people around the city. I mean, right. around the city. And nobody showing them no love. It's like nobody care. It was your first interview Why that he told nobody me. nobody care? Oh, go because ahead. Because the city should just be talking about that. We can't even do no candlelight like for him because he dealt with artists. So when you deal with artists and you deal with people that's in the entertainment in the city of Dallas, like, if you pass, they just gone about their life. But a lot of people was posting it. A lot of people were saying rest in that's peace it. and all of that's that. That's it. That's one day. Mm-hmm. After that day, you go. That man had a two year old son. We ain't heard nobody. I ain't seen nobody else post out outside that day. 
Nobody else like, and I just sit back and look at it like, damn, Big D, because you know, at the end of the day, when when I needed something to talk about, I called Big Big D. Big D come to my house when I was leaving Mo Three Funeral. That's what I was about to ask you about. I was already calling Big D, saying, "Meet me in my house." That's the interview that did millions of views. That's yeah. really he told me that that made his channel go up. That's what done it. Yeah. Cause I when I look at it and you and you you listen to his music, he that, that, so you know then after a while you know every time I, I do an interview with Big Big D, Big D come on come to my house. He the only person that ever came to my house, me and my family, everything. You know uh, he was messy. He's a messy motherfucker. I can't lie to you. He mess, he was messy, <laughs> but he was good. He, I like the quality of it. Like I I stole, I was fucking with him. My first interview was him two thousand twenty twenty. Yeah. I seen Lil Runny on his channel, and it was just, it just, it just, it was it, the cameras he used, and then you could see yourself the right way here. He set it up. Oh, yeah, it was a fool. He did it in here. He was doing yeah. it. He know how to do it. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. He uh, he had it right. I used to like the quality of him, and uh, it was like a baby Vlad. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, that's why I used to like going to him. You know, and then the storytelling of his channel. You know. Uh, if you just riding in the car and going out of town, I can't wait to get an artist to go out of town because we go listen to interviews. And you can just put on the interview and listen to all the stories that that was told. And they some amazing stories. So, uh, I mean, I hope his wife keep everything going. I hope so, too. Yeah, because that's the, that was a badass. But I know nobody could be able to do it like Big Nobody. Big that's the Setting same. up the cameras and editing like that and then switching back and forth. I mean, that's going to make it a wrap. But. That's the part that's hard because, you know, you can never prepare yourself for death. But that's really one love. thing I be thinking about. And like I tell him all the time, I said, something happened to me, you need to move on, keep doing this. But, like, if something happened to him, I don't know how I will keep doing this. Because, to me, it's... It's him, and then nobody can replace that mm -hmm. seat. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? So it's it's just hard. Yeah, I, yeah, that's fucked up. A, I can't picture nobody else in that seat. Yeah, it's just hard. You know, uh, <sighs> man. You know, I'd be mad in the bitch if I come here. Lil Dunny ass in there. <laughs> 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 I, I um, it was something I was gonna ask you because. But I, let me before you get to that. Why ahead. are you looking for it? The thing that I wanted to ask you real quick. Why are you always? People always throw you in the mix of everything in a bad, negative way for some reason. Why am I looking down comments after Big D passing and people talking about, oh, you poisoned him, you killed him, <laughs> yeah. you did yeah. you that. And I'm like, <laughs> that's dumb. I'm and I'm like, really? Because they're saying like, you the last one with him, you slipped something in his drink because of, uh, and, and they were in detail of the reasons why. And I'm like, I'm gonna read it. That's what I was looking for. I said, this nigga <laughs> crazy, bro. I never would have thought like somebody would think like that, bro. That messed my head. I told him, I was like, this is crazy. Like who would say something like this? There's one dude, he said, they all gonna, he said, they all going to pretend they don't know Rainwater had mad beef with Big D for conducting tell-all interview with Kogati, which would reveal all about what really happened to his brother, Mo3. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they That's say. Dumb. That was a comment on that. Was a, yeah. and, you know, and, and you, I think... I'm gonna give be, me too much power. Why do they do it, though? Like, is it be, is they just... Lose... Oh, no, it's it's because, is it because of... Of when they when people see you coming from the bottom and they was around you at the time and then you surpass them and and you know you know they just you know they they'll do they'll do it from secret pages then you know what I'm saying so you know they throw a lot at me it is I think it'd be people that do it from secret pages that be yeah. prominent people to be honest with you I see yeah, a lot of yeah. them coming on us and then young Mexicans. It be a lot of them young Mexicans. They, they, they talk. They talk shit. Why you ain't did this? Why you ain't did that? They they some they talk shit. But nah, Big D, how the hell I'm gonna poison this big ass dude? Who's drinking? Yeah, y'all was. Who's that's drinking? a part of the show though, yeah. right? But I left before. That, that was some nasty drink. That was some nasty ass liquor. Ooh, that was nasty. Supposed to be tequila, ain't it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That girl said that some of friend was the bartender, so Summer came and said, "This is the drink of the day." And I taste that. I said, who's some nasty shit? Well, but you drank yeah. it. Yeah. And Big D Big Ass over there drinking it. 
That was a nasty drink. Well, I don't know what they did. They they combined a bunch of drinks together. Really? That was some nasty. You shit. ain't asked what all was in there. She said it too on the on the on the uh on the interview. Show? That was some nasty. That was a nasty ass drink. That was a nasty drink I ever tasted in my life. They had like four different liquors with some syrup and some type of shit. It was nasty. That was terrible. Damn. I ain't never drank no drink like that before. That was terrible. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.